Hey guys, this is Iconics from AppAddict.org, the most unique alternative to App Tracker. Okay, so today I'm going to show you how to crack iOS applications using Rasticrack. This can be done on an iOS 4 jailbroken device, but for the sake of this video, if you want to follow along, you're going to need a jailbroken device running iOS 5 or iOS 6. Okay, guys, let's get started. So you're going to want to open Cydia click manage at the bottom sources if you haven't already guys add this repo add app addict dot org forward slash repo okay so click add source so that's just gonna list and gather all the available packages from our repo so we'll hit return Cydia so you can see the app addict repo so we'll go in there the first thing you're going to want to install is GNU debugger for iOS 5 and iOS 6 so we'll click install and continue queuing for now back to the repo so we're going to want to install Rasticrack next so again hit install you may notice quite a few dependencies in here if you haven't already got them prior installed I have so it doesn't show them but don't be alarmed there could be about 10 15 packages in there okay so we'll continue queuing again into the search and we'll search for screen and install and continue queuing once more back into the search and you're going to want to search for mobile terminal okay so we'll hit install on that and we'll confirm this time because that's everything we need from Cydia for the moment so we'll let Cydia install the following packages it's going to reload and then ask you to return to Cydia okay so I'm going to show you how to edit the Rasticrack configuration file so for this I'm going to use iFile but you can use any SSH tool, iPhone box, iExplorer etc to do this okay so you're going to want to go to usr forward slash bin and in the list near the bottom you're going to look for Rasticrack okay when you find that hit the blue arrow to the side and hit open with and text viewer okay so we'll hit edit at the top then we're going to scroll down a little bit until we get to the first set of options the first options we come to are default language okay so basically you just uncomment which you would prefer as your default language okay so moving on the most important cracker name okay so it's currently set at default to anonymous so when it's set at anonymous it doesn't add anything to the IPA file so I'm going to go ahead and change this from anonymous to iconic stash appedict okay so the next one is down extra app details should extra details appear in the IPA file name personally I like to set this to no because I think it leaves the file names too long but this is just personal preference okay so the next one you may be interested in is should artist name be used in file name again for the same reason as before I set this to no because I don't like the long file names okay but this is just personal preference again and the sort of final one I'm going to show you is the default compression okay guys what this is is you can set the compression level from minus nine being the smallest size IPA but taking the longest time to crack or you can set it at the other end of the scale at minus one being the biggest size IPA but the fastest time to crack okay now personally I set this at minus nine because I like the smallest size IPA so it's quicker when I'm uploading to my file host okay so we just click save on there and done and that's the raster crack configuration finished let's crack some apps okay so we're going to need mobile terminal for this you're going to want to type the following command rasticrack 
space minus m. So when you hit enter, it's going to present you with a list of all the applications that you have installed in your device that can be cracked. It lists them with a number, a letter, or a combination of the two beside them. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to crack Doodle Jump, which has L next to it. So I'm going to enter L and then press enter. And that is going to initiate Rasty Crack to start cracking Doodle Jump. Okay guys, so we just cracked the app, let's see where it's located on the phone. So for this I'm going to use iFile, but again you can use SSH, iFunbox, iExplorer, etc guys. So you're going to want to locate the following location, VAR, Mobile, Documents, and then Cracked. Okay, so there's a few apps in there. But the one that we've just done is the top doodle jump. So if we click the blue arrow at the side, look at the name, you can see that Iconics dash Appadict has already been added to the file name. So basically I don't need to do anything else with this apart from get it off my device, upload it to my file host and share the links. Okay, so I'm just going to show you that the crack was successful using Rasty Crack. So I've told it to open in Appadict iOS app. Okay, so I'm going to go to the installer. Hit doodle jump, hit install, confirm that install. That's going to take me to my springboard and install doodle jump. Okay, there you go. So there, proof, rusty crack, cracked on the iPhone 5. The app's running fine on the iPhone 5. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I should be doing more videos soon. Appadict.org, the most unique thing since Art Tracker.